Hi, here's question D from the short answer questions from the Oxford Maths Admissions Test from 2018. I've got a quadratic given here, f of x equals x squared minus 5x plus 7. I want to know what the coordinates of the minimum of y equals f of x minus 2 here are. Now, two ways of going about this, I think, and either would be fine, but you do want to, in this exam, make sure you're using timers as best as possible. So perhaps the most direct way, but the less... Um, fast way might be to say actually okay look f of x minus 2 you could actually substitute uh, x minus 2 in place of x in, in your original quadratic here get x minus 2 squared minus 5 times x minus 2 plus 7 multiply it all out work out where its minimum is but we really want to make use of the maths that we know to do this quickly so y equals f of x minus 2 produces a translation uh, by two units in the x direction so if I've got the curve of y equals f of x which is going to be a parabola like this, then y equals f of x minus 2 is just going to be shifted by two units in the x direction. So if I can work out the minimum of this parabola, I've almost automatically got the minimum of this parabola. Okay, now to work out the minimum, do whatever you prefer here. You could differentiate or uh, I think completing the square here is the most direct way. So uh, x squared minus 5x plus 7 would be x minus 5 over 2 squared, then I'm going to need to subtract 5 over 2 squared uh, and add 7, which gives me x minus 5 over 2 squared, minus 25 over 4 plus 28 over 4, so that's uh, plus uh, 3 over 4. So the minimum of uh, f of x is at 5 over 2, 3 over 4. You should be able to do that quickly from your A-level studies. And then for f of x minus 2, then I just need to add 2 to the uh, x coordinate. So that's 4 over 2 that I'm adding. So I'm going to get to 9 over 2, 3 over 4. And now I have a look and see, is that one of the answers? Yes, it is b. So I'm happy with that. And we've got a nice, quick, direct way of dealing with that question. I'm going to do the rest of these uh, questions as individual videos and I'll put them all in a playlist so you can find the ones you are stuck on. I hope that was useful and I will see you in the next one.